What is up guys? This is Viper Guy 84 doing yet another video. Welcome to my channel and welcome to 2015. This is a uh, new year for us and uh, yet another year um, for me to introduce uh, a new cosplay. I think I've been uh, introducing a new one every single year so far, uh, at least one every year. Um, and uh, this year is going to be no different, and uh, I'm going to be hopefully debuting two new cosplays. Um, the other one being a new uh, Power Ranger suit from Anarchy. I'm still waiting on that suit. He has not shipped it. Um, I know I promised you guys that I would show that uh, two months ago. Um, but uh, yeah, like I said, it's just delayed for some reason. It's... I'm pretty sure it's finished, he just hasn't shipped it yet, so whenever I get it, I'll do a video of that. But in the meantime, um, I am debuting yet another cosplay uh, in this particular outfit. If you guys watched my last video, it was a new upcoming Daft Punk outfit that uh, I have been working on for the last several months. It's been an off and on thing simply because of... One, uh, it's it's a very expensive uh, outfit to put together from the leather jacket and pants to the helmet. I think the helmet was the one that costed me the most money. I mean, overall, I, I have invested countless number a, a countless number of hours and money into this thing. Um, of course, it was all commissioned. Um, I did not make all of it, so uh, I had to do it piece by piece. Uh, so that's why it took me so long. Like I said, it's just been, it's, it was an outfit that I've been wanting to do for so long. Um, so yeah, this is what this video is going to be. It's going to be, um, me highlighting all the bits and pieces that I have, uh, and kind of going a little bit of detail and to, uh, also, um, do this video a little different compared to my Power Ranger ones. I'm going to, uh, suit up and throw everything on in this video as well. So, um. Yeah, I'm just going to show you guys what I have. Uh, I pretty much completed everything. Uh, I have all the pieces to it. And um, yeah, let's go on ahead and just kind of show you guys uh, what uh, is entailed with this outfit. And if you guys have any questions about um, this whole entire thing or, you know, anything in this video, just leave them down in the comment section and then uh, uh, I'll try to answer them the best as I can. Um, or maybe I'll post some links in the description or, uh, some of the people that I went through to do, to, uh, put all this together. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Oh, and I'm going to start, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to start from, uh, the feet on up. So, um, of course the last being the helmet. So, uh, yeah, let's go in ahead and get into these shoes. All right. So these are my Adidas. All right. Um, these are the top 10 uh, high top sneakers. I bought these from the Adidas website. Uh, now these shoes are not going to be 100% accurate to the ones that Daft Punk actually wore. They did wear Adidas, but they were a custom pair of Adidas and you will not be able to find those, uh, uh, those sneakers anywhere um, anymore. So, this is uh, what I got, okay? This is what the sneakers look like. Very, very cool. All black, of course. Um, that's the tongue of the shoe right there. Um, yeah, overall, I mean, these are really, really good shoes. I've seen other people do some other type of Adidas, um, but I think these Adidas will work pretty well for my outfit. They're all black. Um, you don't have to go with these same particular ones that I did, but um, some all black pair of Adidas will work if you're going to do this um, outfit. So, so those are the shoes. All right, now let's go on ahead and do. Let's go on ahead and do the uh, the pants. Okay, now uh, I do have to say before I get into uh, the pants now. If you guys are going to do this uh, this outfit, I highly recommend that uh, you get your measurements done by a tailor before you purchase your pants, okay? Um, keep in mind that these pants are leather. They're not going to fit like 
your standard pair of jeans or just your regular type of pants, okay? Um, they're definitely going to grab your ass a little bit more, so uh, you got to be aware of that. And there's going to be areas on in the pants when you're wearing them that are going to be tighter than your standard pants, like I said. So, um, But if you're trying to stay true to the character and the, uh, the overall visual representation of Daft Punk, then I recommend that you at least... Get yourself a pair of leather pants, okay? Uh, I know people don't want to spend a whole lot of money and they just want to do just some black pair of jeans, okay? Um, trust me, uh, attention to detail is going to uh, pay dividends in your overall look and how your outfit's going to, you know, portray to other people or how you're going to, how you're trying to portray your character to other people, okay? Um, so I don't recommend you skimp on anything. Uh, if you're going to go with uh, the human after all era look, which is uh, kind of what I'm doing, human after all era and discovery era, um, you don't want to skimp uh, or cut corners on certain aspects of your outfit. So, um, so yeah, I'm just going to show you guys the pants. Okay, so here are my pants. All right, uh, like I said, I'm not much of a leather pant wearing guy but uh, as you can see they're nicely detailed um, it does have the uh, quarter design this is sewn on um, the actual ones that Daft Punk wore believe it or not uh, the quarter design actually was all done by hand uh, the cords were actually made individually and then pushed through the leather material and then sewn down which gives it more of a 3d effect but um, Unless you have, you know, ten to fifteen thousand dollars laying around, then by all means send it to me, and I'll, I'll do that too. So, <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, those are the pants, and here's the quarter design right there. Some stitching right there, um, and then of course you have the zipper right there. Um, here's the inside. It's like a smooth material. And uh, these were done by Vagabond Leathers. Uh, you can go to their website. I'm going to try and get this in the camera here. Uh, I don't know if you can read that, but it's vagabondleathers.com. Uh, these pants took about 12 days to make. I sent them my measurements, and uh, they uh, put these together for me. Now, if you're going to uh, go through Vagabond uh, Leathers, um, they're actually they actually go by marching ants on eBay. Uh, they don't actually advertise these pants or display these pants on their site uh, because they are a made-to-order item. So um, it's not something that they just have in stock and then they can alter right there on hand. Um, they actually hand make and hand stitch all of this once you send them your measurements. So um, so yeah, like I said, these pants are really really nice. Uh, pretty impressed with them overall and um, yeah I really like the pants uh, they are I've already tried them on and they are um, a quite snug fit but they fit me pretty comfortably so I have no other complaints about them so those are the pants alright let's see here I think we'll go ahead and get into um, the gloves. Now, my last video, you guys have already seen these gloves. Um, here they are. I think these were 3D printed and laser cut, uh, but the chroming on these were done by the same person that did uh, my helmet, which was a coat of chrome. And these are actually really, really good gloves. Now, I've specified in my previous video that these gloves are. A little bit smaller than I originally intended them to be, because like I have, I do have big hands, and um, they are a bit tight. So I have to individually move each finger into place, and then move the pieces into place as well on my hand, so that uh, they look kind of like that. Um, so yeah, these are the gloves. Like I said, they're very very nice. I really do like them. Uh, and it definitely brings out the overall look of uh, the character of, of uh, Guy Manuel. 
So, yeah, really impressed with them. Uh, like I said, they're a bit bit tight, but they they work overall. So, um, and as I'm going over all of this, uh, I do notice that uh, some people they do their outfits different, um, and that's fine because, like I said, I mean, if you some people just don't have you know thousands of dollars to spend on stuff like this. Um, and gloves like this are going to run you a couple hundred dollars. There, I mean, these. The, I mean, you would look at this and think that this is cheap, but the the paint on these gloves, on these pieces alone, is what's you're you're paying for. So um, you you can probably make these pieces out of plastic or whatever. But like I said, it's the the whole chroming, the chrome painting of these uh, these gloves is what's uh, the real uh, money kicker. So, so yeah. So those are the gloves. Okay. Um, this is a balaclava. Okay. I don't really need to go over this. This was something that I bought on Amazon for like a dollar fifty. So, um, but you're definitely gonna want to get one of these um, because when you're wearing the helmet, it's not only going to keep uh, your hair nice when you're uh, when you start sweating, but uh, it's going to help cover up your neck um, because your neck is going to be exposed if you're going to be wearing either the Guy Manuel helmet or the Thomas Bang Alter helmet. Um, so it's uh, this is what they wear when they wear their helmets. So I definitely recommend getting something like this. Balaclava. Okay, let's see. Oh, before I get to the jacket. This is my belt, okay. Um, it's just a regular standard belt that you can buy at Walmart or Burlington or something like that. Um, just get just a regular black belt because um, the pants that I have didn't come with a belt. Um, but if you do go through, uh, for example, uh, what is his name? Magnoli. Uh, Magnoli is a leather maker that's based out of New Zealand. And uh, when they make if you do decide to go through them and get your pants uh, made from them, they uh, provide a belt for your pants. So uh, mine didn't come with one, like I said. So, uh, but yeah, any other ordinary black belt will do for your pants. So make sure you get that. Alrighty. So next, we're going to get into the jacket. Okay. Now. There are a few places that you can go to get your jacket made, or you can buy a jacket off of eBay. Um, let's see, one of them I think goes by the name of Indian Tannery. Indian Tannery actually makes the jacket and the pants. Um, I am not 100% sure if Vagabond Leather does the jacket. Uh, they probably do, um, I mean, since they do the pants. But uh, I got my jacket from a seller on eBay who goes by the name of Flesh and Hide. Um, they seem to have been the one that makes the best design on there. Uh, I could have gone through Magnoli. They do um, the jacket as well. Um, but if I can get the same design for a little bit cheaper, um, same kind of material, it's made out of cowhide and everything, then that's the route I'm going to go. So here's the jacket. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to get this all in there. Uh, there is the design right here, the quarter design stitched on. Here's the inside. It's all smooth. And <clears throat> here is the back. I'm going to try and get this. There's the logo right there for the back. Okay, now you see the logo there. Now you look at the inside and you don't see any holes or you don't see uh, any of the uh, the backings for the uh, for the studs that is because um, flesh and hide when they make these jackets it takes them I think like a little over a week or so and um, after they punch the studs into the jacket they sew the liner into it so that it uh, um, gives a very clean overall uh, uh, representation of the jacket so just the overall like I said it's just a clean look um, so I really like that they did that now the studs are not 
uh, 100% accurate either. I think they're just like uh, like button snaps or something like that. I'm not really sure, but they're it's a different type of studs. Um, you can probably get something smaller than this. The ones that Daft Punk actually use are smaller. They're actually conical studs. Um, but uh, I think for these, it's it's a good enough representation. I think it's pretty well. You can read it, and it's uh, yeah, it's a good size. It's not overly big. It's not small either. So um, so yeah. So I think this is a really good uh, well-made jacket. Made out of cowhide leather. So um, yeah. Really, really good. And like I said, it took a little over a week to make. So, uh, yeah, really, really good jacket. Fits well. All right. Now, let's go ahead and get into the wonderful helmet. Okay. Um, now, if you have not watched my last video, uh, this helmet was done by Dylan Thomas or Dylan426 on Etsy. And he does these on a commission basis, commission by commission basis. Uh, he doesn't really do too many of them because um, his price range, I'm not going to lie, his price range is uh, very, very high if you want to get something like this. Um, and there are other um, helmet builders out there who do Guy Manuel and Thomas helmets uh, for less than $1,000. You can get uh, a pretty decent made helmet um you know with the chrome and everything you're just not going to get one with all the leds um but this one's made really really nice uh here's the helmet okay there's the back he uses real wires okay uh for his helmet there's the front this thing's actually got some weight to it um and i'll kind of go over a little bit about uh, the overall construction of this helmet now, um, I do want to kind of give some comparison here to uh, another person that many of you may be aware of, and his name is Vulpin. Um, some of you guys may know him. He's one of the most respected uh, prop builders in the community. Um, he was one of the first to build his own Guy Manuel uh, mold of this helmet, okay? Uh, his very own mold. He's probably, like I said, he's probably one of the first to do it. And he, you can find his video on YouTube. It's under uh, how to make a Daft Punk helmet in 17 months. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's it was really really well crafted um, and everything. But um, and then you also have another guy uh, who goes by the name of Mogwai Props, who I was also going to go through for my helmet, but I just didn't like uh, his turnaround time. Um, so. Going back to the comparison, okay, the thing that I like about this helmet compared to Vulpin and Mogwai, okay, um, like I said, I'm not gonna take, I'm not taking anything away from those two builders because their, their, their builds are really well done, really well made, um, and they're very well respected um, prop builders. But um, if you're watching this video and you've seen the others and you're trying to kind of uh, do some comparison or you're gonna ask a question in the comment section. Uh, I'm going to go on ahead and answer this as best I can in terms of a comparison. Okay. Now, going back to the comparison. Now, the thing that I like with uh, Dylan's uh, design compared to Vulpin's and Mogwai's is on Vulpin's build. Okay, his helmet was actually his own mold. Okay, it was not made to scale uh, whatsoever, so um, it was a little bit bigger than uh, Guy Manuel's actual helmet that he uses, okay? Um, so when you look at this helmet, okay, this is actually built more to scale to what Guy Manuel actually wears, all right? So um, it's a little bit more accurate in terms of that uh, aspect, and that's one of the things that I liked with it. Um, and in comparing this to Mogwai's, okay, Mogwai actually takes his design of Guy Manuel, okay, um, in the back area right here where you see utilizes real wires Okay on game on a uh, Mogwai's helmet um, version of Guy Manuel's helmet uh, he actually Takes this piece and makes it out of silicone or resin or something and then he uh, Kind of carves little lines into the back and then paints it to make it look like wires 
Um, so that's kind of a shortcut there, especially if you're going to spend thousands of dollars on a helmet. I mean, you might as well give the uh, the client or the customer their money's worth and um, do it right. Do it the way that they would like to see their helmet, okay? Um, so that's the thing that I like with this helmet compared to uh, those two. And it's just really, really well designed, um, built to scale. And like I said, I'm not taking anything away from any of those two builders. Um, but like I said, it's, it's just there's advantages and disadvantages to every person that you go through in terms of commissions, okay? So um, that's one of the reasons why I like this helmet uh, a lot. Um, now, as far as the frame of the helmet, okay, the frame um, is made out of resin, I do believe. Uh, the paint on this helmet was done by a uh, shop called Code of Chrome, and they are one of the top, they're probably the number one um, shop in the country in terms of painting helmets like this. Uh, they do. They did a really, really good job on this. Uh, I think the chroming process took us uh, several weeks um, to do, and uh, you can tell it just came out really, really amazing. I mean, this is probably. I mean, you find stuff like this on you. You find paint jobs like this on cars, okay, and that's what that shop specializes in. But they also are familiar with this uh, painting process for the helmets. Um, <clears throat> Now the visor is, uh, I think it's made out of, um, uh, I think it's made out of like an acrylic material. Um, I'm not really sure what it's uh, made out of, but uh, I, I think I think it's an acrylic material. Um, so that was done really, really good as well. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and flip the lights on for you guys. Now, as far as the lighting is concerned. Um, the lighting is ran off of, uh, four AAA batteries. Okay. That's its own separate battery pack. And, um, there's another additional, uh, three AAA batteries. Okay. And the three AAA batteries is to run the built-in voice changer in this helmet. Yes, there is a voice changer. Okay. Um, there's separate settings in here that will allow you to, um, change the voice to whatever robot you want to sound like. Uh, so I thought that was a really, really, really neat thing. Um, and as you can see, there's the LEDs. Um, and uh, so yeah, the um, to, to power all this is seven AAA batteries. Okay, so like I said, four for the LEDs, for the, um, the matrix, the chin synthesizers and everything, and of course the ear ports. And the three uh, uh, additional AAAs for the voice changer. And I also forgot to mention with the voice changer, there is a two inch uh, speaker mounted in one of the ear ports where the sound comes out of. And then there's an adjustable microphone on the inside right there, as you can see right there. That little piece sticking out is the microphone. And then you can see all the padding and everything in there. And then there's separate switches in here that will change the voice and all that other stuff. So, um, the LEDs were done by Alex Plus LEDs, okay? Uh, he is um, probably one of the only people uh, out there who does um, LEDs for these type of helmets. He's probably the best out there that you can um, find for LEDs for these helmets. Uh, very, very um, well made. Um, you can hit him up if you want to get a LED kit of your own and do your own wiring. Um, beware that he does not include all the parts to completely run the whole assembly. Um, once you purchase his uh, do-it-yourself basic kit, uh, he provides a separate parts list in a PDF format or, or email format. And um, he lists off what you still need to get to um, make all of this work. Okay, so because you're, you're still going to need the battery packs to put the batteries in, the Cat5 cables, the resistors, all that stuff. He doesn't include all of that, so he only includes um, the uh, the matrix the matrix uh, itself, and um, I think he includes the sequencer boards and all that other stuff. So, uh, so yeah, so there's the helmet, and uh, like I said, Alex Plus LEDs were um, was who made the LEDs. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much the helmet. 
I'm going to flip all this stuff off without dropping my helmet and my several thousands of dollars that I have invested in this thing. Alrighty. Okay, so there is that. Okay, um, now, like I said, I'm going to include a segment of me suited up in this uh, and just kind of show you guys how it all looks. And um, I really hope you guys like it. And um, hope this video helped you guys out if you're going to cosplay or put something like this together. Like I said, um, this was not cheap. What's this was not cheap um, to do. So uh, I don't recommend going this route if you're going to put together a uh, Daft Punk outfit. Um, this is just the route that I did. Um, and also this is my own rendition of, of Daft Punk. Um, some people go a little bit overboard and they go 100% uh, accurate for their whole outfit by doing um, by sp by sticking to one specific era because if you if you know Daft Punk uh, you'll know that um, there's different eras of uh, music that they've done over the years like the homework era then you got the discovery era you have the Tron era and you have uh, Alive and um, Human after all, and then of course random access memories. Um, so this is my this is my own rendition of Daft Punk. Um, so I mashed up uh, the Discovery era and the Human after all era. The Discovery era being um, the LED matrix lights in the uh, in the helmet, um, and then the Human after all era with the wires in the back on Guy Manuel's helmet. And, of course, the uh, leather outfit for the jacket and the pants. So, um, so that's it. Uh, I'm going to cut this segment and uh, showcase um, next to you guys uh, the whole outfit. So, hope you guys enjoy it. One more time. Alright guys, uh, this is what my voice changer sounds like. I have uh, many different settings that can change my voice and alter it to whatever robot I want to sound like. So um, yeah, this is what it sounds like. Uh, other than that, that's it guys. This is uh, the outfit that's taken me quite some time to finish. And hope you like it. So be sure to like this video, subscribe, and if you have any questions about the whole outfit, Leave it down in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you. So other than that, that's it guys. This is Dr. Gotti for signing out. And this is my dad from Gotcha.